going to discuss about some of the tools which we can use it for the programming especially for python so i will show you one by one you'll get an idea the first one is ideally ideally stands for integrated development and learning environment Generally, we have the IDEs. IDEs stands for Integrated Development Environments. Simple. If you are a beginner, you can use IDLE. IDLE is mainly for the people who wants to start learning the programming. So basically, you can write simple kind of code and you can experiment it. For example, how to write a Fibonacci series, how to write a prime number. Simple, simple codes you can write. You can learn Python by using this IDLE. So ideally, which you can, it will come from when you are downloading the Python itself. You don't need to download it separately. So it comes with the Python software itself. So ideally is best suitable for beginner level developers. The ideally tool can be used for Mac OS, Windows and Linux. And it is a free of cost because it comes with the Python software itself. And the next one is the Visual Studio Code, which is very powerful and many people or many developers use nowadays. And Visual Studio Code, which is not basically an IDE, which is kind of a code editor, you can you know, download from the visualstudio.com and which is mainly developed by the Microsoft. One of the best smart code completion is based on the various factors and it has the great uh, Git integration and we can use it for the debugging with the editor. It provides an extension to additional features like code team and themes and other services. And also we have something called PyCharm. PyCharm is actually built by the JetBrains and it comes with the two versions. One is for the professional developers, another one is for community people. So which is very free. So when you are like a beginner, if you want to use it for a free resource, then you can go for the PyCharm community edition and uh, the, most of the organizations they use the license based edition that's called the professional edition and you can download it for both windows and mac which is available on the jetbrains.com and another tool is called the spider which is uh, most uh, useful one for the data science people especially when you are working on the data analysis or like when you're working with the pandas and all and the spider is most preferred one and uh, another great ID is called the Jupyter and uh, just for your information JU, JU generally use it for the Julia and PYS for Python or is for all languages something like this. This is mainly used by the, the worldwide uh, data scientist and data analyst and that kind of like even data visualizations we can use for the Jupyter notebook and you can install it as a separate land also you can try it in the browser as well and it can it is available for both windows and mac and also we have something called autumn and the people who comes from the java back javascript background they know very well about this autumn tool and autumn is available which has a great themes and everything and uh, you can use it this it's a mainly like uh, you can write a python programming and here also you can try for that and uh, it also can be integrated with the github as well in a similar way we have something called sublime it is again a text editor and we can use it for the python and uh, just you can see here there is something called gpu and sublime text can now utilize your gpus on the linux and mac and windows so it has a great thing now we can use it for the apple silicon and linux not only just for intel and this is available you can see there is the two things here sublime text i mean to say the two editions and sublime merge okay you can download this and you can use it for this even you can use the python in this and also we have something called pydev and this is also can be used for like uh, python programming and just for your information like uh, this is um, uh, mainly for the eclipse if you want to integrate this pydev in the eclipse we can do it and also like uh, Jython, Iron Python, those kind of developments. If you want to build it, we can go with this Python as well. So it is all like depends on like what kind of ID you want to use it for. If you are from the data science, you can go for the uh, like Jupyter and Spider. If you are from the web developer, web programming, and you can choose Visual Studio Code and PyCharm. 
and if you are like a beginner you can go for the ideal it depends on like where you came from what kind of background you have what kind of skills you have it and all hope you are going to use one of the tool for your programming skills and let me know what is your favorite tool if you are already using it or like if you want to start which style which kind of tool you want to use it for thank you so much for watching this i will catch up with the new video